Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. There's one question that a ton of you guys have been asking recently, especially after yesterday's content, and today we're going to answer it. We've got crafting upgrades, we've got now 81 plus player picks, and the premium La Liga upgrade packs all to choose from, but what is the best way to craft your way to virtually unlimited packs on this game right now? Because there is a method and it's kind of cracked. I want to talk about that today, and today as well on a Tuesday, we're going to have guaranteed TOTS packs returning like we do every single week, and we have a couple of interesting leaks that might be SBCs we want to craft with this pack grinds. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's go over yesterday's content because like we talked about yesterday, it wasn't expected to be a crazy day. And it wasn't that crazy. We did have, however, a player SBC that kind of is crazy. Ona Batie, who had a team of the year card. I don't know if you remember her team of the year right back item. Really good card. Really hyped up then. This card's really hyped up now. It's not that big of an upgrade. That's the one downside to this team of the season. Batie is it's not a big boost over her team of the year. Some stats didn't even get upgraded at all. I think it was like defending or dribbling that didn't even get a boost, right? But three play style pluses, high, high work rates, the ability to play on the right or the left side. Guys, I'm trying to compare her to maybe one other sort of defender in this game that you maybe have used that would be really exciting. And the closest comparison that I can get is Basha, right? She's a bit shorter, she's faster, but she has jockey plus quick step and long ball pass plus with really, really good individual stats. And it's another one of those cards that you may not think you would want to use unless you've used the team of the year, but it's coming in as a really, really hyped item. A lot of people in the community are excited about this card. 74% upvote, which to be honest, it's hard for me to comment on how good she is in game because I've only played against her. I have never owned this card. The team of the year specifically, I've never owned. So it makes me even a little bit more interested in crafting Batier, especially with the Barcelona cards like Kunde, who I've already packed, and a couple of them that I've already been able to, uh, or Kunde SBC, and then all the Barca cards that I've been able to pack recently, it kind of would fit into my team with the links there. So I think this is one that most people would look at and be like, hmm, do I really want to do this? But then on second thought, and actually after using her in game, a lot of people have really liked this card. So it could be on your list to craft. I know not everybody would be interested in SBC like that, but I think it's one that we maybe need to consider, and I'm even considering now, after opening a big store pack, trying to get some of my high-rated fodder at least into something. Now, that's the one player SBC. Guys, it sounds like there's some more player SBCs coming as well. We do have one more that is leaked, and one more that's not super leaked yet and super talked about but might be coming soon. Now, let's get to this big question because what everybody's doing right now on the menus is this crafting upgrade, the premium upgrade packs, and the 81 plus player pick. Between these three SBCs and some of the other ones that are available, what is the best grind, guys? Because we got yesterday the 81 plus player picks, which of course are not as good as the 82 plus, especially when you consider that this requires the same number of golds. You just have to turn in one rare instead of two. But eight golds for an 81 plus player pick, it's still a one of three. They're still good, right? This is still an 81 plus player pick that we do like. I think I was maybe hoping for a one of four or that 82 plus to stay there because that 82 plus was so freaking good. Along with that, just before we get into the crafting and the grinding and how to do it the best way, we also had the 85 plus player pick, which I am a big fan of. I love it. Even though it's an 84 rated squad, that is like so easy to do right now. It's incredibly easy, even though it's 84 rated to get that done. I actually think I packed two team of the seasons from the 85 picks that I did yesterday. That's part of the daily grind that we can do in this game is getting this SBC done. And I'm a big fan of that, even though it may not be like worth it per se, it's basically free, right? Now let's talk about the unlimited grind because guys, I started yesterday's stream with, I think like 31 packs or somewhere right around 30 packs. And like, I really didn't even go below 25. Like I went as high as 40 plus and then back down to 25 without opening any store packs and spending any coins on cards. I had some existing exchange SBCs that were already built up, but from this craft, you can just do a whole bunch of exchanges, a whole bunch of these crafting upgrades, get the objective packs, and then do premiums and 81 plus player picks to have yourself a really good chance at packing team of the season cards. Now, let me take you through, in my opinion, the best way to get this done in the way that a lot of people were doing 
dependent on this game. It all starts around this Tots crafting upgrade, right? Because all it requires are is just a full squad of golds and one rare. But you're like, Nate, turning in 11 golds, that's not worth it, right? It actually is because you're getting five rares back, which completely unlocks the premium upgrade and the 81 plus player pick. So I think you start with the Tots crafting upgrade. And then what you do after you get those golds is you turn them into the premium La Liga upgrade, which gives you La Liga rares and non rares. This gives you a really, really good chance of a team of the season. I'm up to 140 Tots cards, but honestly, none of them came from this yesterday. I'm going to be opening a lot more of these. I even have a lot more still in my store that I have to get to. But these have been, you know, not like guaranteed blues, but it's like a pretty good way. It's, again, really similar to the Premier League, maybe even better from three weeks ago of Team of the Season when that pack grind was out. These packs are good. If you're struggling with them, like me, like I know some of you guys are like, Nate, my pack luck sucks. I'm not packing anything. I'm right there with you when it comes to these upgrades. I've had decent luck with the blues from the crafting upgrade, but it's mostly fodder. I've not even got a blue yet from these, and I probably opened 25 or 30 of them yesterday. I'd have to guess just off the top of my head, maybe around 25. No blues yet. So we're going to chase those again today. And then once you get your players from this, if you get high rated golds, we're talking 86s and above, I'm putting those right back into an exchange because you're going to need some more non-rares to be crafting those exchange packs, right? So your 86s and above can go right into an exchange, or you can hold on to those a bit if you're crafting a player SBC like the Batier. Maybe you're still working on a Lucio or another Icon card. That is great for you there. And then when you get those opened up and you're like, Nate, I don't know what to craft into, you can go back into the Tots Crafting upgrade. But once you get that done, you can just work between these two, Tots Crafting and Premium La Liga. That's what I've been doing. But once you kind of get that one done or you're tired of doing it, you can do the 81 plus player pick as well. Rinse your commons into this. Again, it's eight commons and one rare which is very much um, easy to get from doing literally just one premium upgrade right you're going to get 11 la liga players four of them rare so you're going to have almost all the commons you got in that put them into this turn in one of those rares boom you've got an 81 plus player pick which then you can of course put into a lot of different places now here's one thing that i will say with this crafting stuff that is going on right now anything that is 84 rated and below if i get a duplicate 84 um, sometimes I'm putting that into one of these crafting upgrades or I'm putting it into a La Liga premium since 84s are literally minimum price and they're so easy to get from these player picks and from all the other packs that are out at the moment. Like I'm not counting an 84 as like a card that I have to put into a team of the week player pick. You can, if you're low on team of the weeks or team of the seasons. Um, but you definitely do not have to, I'm putting 84s into the premium upgrades, into 81 plus player picks and into, uh, the crafting upgrades as well. Yesterday I started off Maybe you saw the video yesterday. I had not done a single one of the crafting upgrades, guys, and I did 80 of them yesterday on stream. We were grinding for like four, four and a half hours. It was a blast. Um, and, you know, I'm getting a lot of the objectives done with it, which is the big reason why the Tots crafting upgrade is the key to all this. And once it does go away, the craft gets a little bit worse. Uh, but once you uh, are working through this, like I'm getting the good stuff now, 85 doubles, 85 three, a Tots guaranteed pack, right? I'm hoping to finish this today on stream with the 70 completions that we have to get done, then we'll be able to open the really big packs here on stream as well, and it's going to get fun. But this is the one that really unlocks the potential team in the season pulls with the big packs and the fodder you're going to get from it as well. Here's the thing, right? All of these objective packs, like you open an 84 times 10, you're probably getting two or three walkouts. That can go straight into an exchange SBC to keep funding this grind, right? That's how it's basically unlimited packs, especially when you're in this part of the grind. Now, even when you get past that, the 81 plus player picks give you enough walkouts and higher rated cards that you can as well craft um, the other SBCs in here that are refreshing every single day. Like, again, where do you put your 82s, 3s, 4s, and 5s if you don't want to put them into an upgrade pack right away? Of course, remember, you've got the 85 plus player pick that refreshes every day and the 86 double. That's going to give you high rated, which can go back into exchanges. So really, really utilize the exchanges, guys. These are your friend. These will help you a lot. Even if you're doing a player SBC, don't feel like you have to hold on to every single high rated card. If it's a duplicate for sure, throw that into the exchange and get rinsing and get crafting like the menus this craft guys is also so fun the menus are so fun right now because these tots cards you feel like you have a chance man every time i go to twitter like look i'm getting tweeted like this from an 86 exchange holy first time ever ever having a version of alexia puteas right below that i'm getting responded to somebody watching my youtube video on the second channel from a few hours ago and packing kamavinga from a premium pack like guys 
it is actually possible to pack these cards. And I'm even saying that as somebody who hasn't got any from a premium upgrade yet. Get crafting. Even if you're like, I don't care that much about La Liga. This is a menu craft sort of situation with the crafting upgrade SBC that is going to allow you to stock up packs. And like, again, like I said, my number of packs is not going down that fast like it's actually building up sometimes you could be stacking packs for team of the season ultimate tots coming in a couple weeks from now by doing this grind and saving some of those big packs as well if you want to even go that route so that's kind of the thing that's going on right now and i think that kind of perfectly summarizes the grind of this game tots crafting upgrade is the key but then the premiums and the 81 plus player picks are there to supplement that as well with the exchange packs and the daily upgrading SBCs, it is a blast. It's a lot of work and it's some time, but like basically if you want to open unlimited packs, that's how you can do it. And also if you're like, Nate, hold on, where do I even get golds to start off with? Just do your daily bronze, silver, and gold upgrades. All right, four times a day, four times a day for the daily gold upgrade. I haven't had to do these in a while because I have a bunch of exchanges, but if you're low on golds, hit these packs as well. You'll be able to get them very, very easily. You can even start with silvers and bronzes with no golds. Right now, you could take a brand spanking new account and take it all the way up through the exchange grind, probably without spending any coins to get yourself a bunch of those packs and to get crafting through the menus and try to pack team of the season cards so that is literally the game right now for a lot of people is that crafting grind and all that that's why i wanted to spend time talking about it today because a lot of people have been doing it and that is the best thing about this game at the moment so let's talk about market a bit because yesterday of course we mentioned a lot of prices that were dropping and we looked at a lot of prices on cards that were down bad and i want to revisit that today because prices once again uh, they didn't just magically go back up like what what would have ha made that happen yesterday right remember when Lewandowski was 1.2 last night he actually rose up again yesterday he went from 1.2 to 1.3 and then he came back down he's now 1.08 million coins and i actually packed this card yesterday from a 650k pack with coins which i've been saving up of course you guys know the trading up to those open those packs we opened one yesterday we packed Lewandowski been trying him out he is fun to use um and so that's my biggest pull so far of la liga tots we've got i guess we have uh salma p as well but salma p lewandowski it's been a good uh couple of days so far for me but like that card's down some right kama is 385 he's down griezmann's 42 bellingham is 8.7 these cards continue to just slowly drop down kind of as we expected I don't see anything changing for the market here in the next day or two. Remember last night we were talking about Jonathan David? He's even lower now. 598K. Vitinha's 1.7. Zaire Emery's 1.4. Do I even want to look at Bundesliga Tots? Let's see. What's Bundesliga Tots? How much are these guys down? Harry Kane last night was 3 mil. Okay, he's still 3.1. Verts is under 3. Davies is still low. Grimaldo is 1.2. Musiala is absolutely in the mud at 1.6. Upa's under 600. Coman is down a lot. Wow. And so is Schlotterbeck as well. So a lot of stuff just keeps dropping. The only cards that were really good to trade with yesterday were some of these rare ones, guys. I bought the Joe Bellingham's, right? Hoping that he was going to go up. He didn't go up. I did lose some coins there yesterday. I bought those at like 115 to 120, sold them at 100K in the morning. And then, of course, he's now 68K. De Young had a really good rise. Guy Caris and Firmino had really good rises as well, as did Tavernier. Uh, Tavernier yesterday, it's all about the rarity when it comes to these cards, right? He went from 289 to 420K. That is not a normal uh, fluctuation for a card like this, but he was one of those that I was watching yesterday. Maybe you saw it on my transfer targets because he was a brand new card that was released on Sunday and he was just flat out rare, right? You just looked at how many cards that were on the market and you know based off of his stats and based off of who he is as Tavernier, he's a card that people want to try out and that's why i was interested in flipping his card this luke de young card as well he's honestly when i can look at his stats he's comparable to lewandowski in this game right now lewandowski is a million coins this card's 100k yeah sure i know he doesn't have the links and maybe the height that lewandowski does but like this card is no slouch yesterday he had a really big rise as well and he's down a lot he's 100k now I don't think these cards have a big of bounces today as they did yesterday, right? Like Geikaris was 1.4 and now he's 1.6. He was even like 2 mil for a small amount of time yesterday. So I'm not investing in any of those today for big rises. I just wanted to point that out and say that every single Sunday when we get the mixed league cards, it's been a really, really good time to trade with them and into the Monday kind of hour. So maybe even watch for that next week as well, even though we're heading into the end of Team of 
this season. And like we mentioned as well, the out of packs cards, it's a little tough to trade on this game, especially on Mondays. So I recognize that I didn't really buy anything at all yesterday. It was more so just the day for me to be crafting. I opened up the store pack, so I spent coins there. But hopefully today on a Tuesday, we have a lot more opportunity to be watching these La Liga team of the seasons because this is the day that we look for an opportunity to invest in these cards because we're getting close to that La Liga guaranteed, right? And we're getting close to when people flip the switch and say, okay, I've done all that I can to try to pack the card that I want, whether it's, you know, opening a bunch of upgrade packs or whatever, getting them rewards, doing what they can to pack those cards. But then you usually see the turnaround and some of that turnaround might start today. So really keep an eye on some of these team of the season cards. Um, the more that I look at this Lewandowski as well, I know that I've made a ton of coins off of him. The more that I feel like he might be just overpriced in general. And that's why he's just dropping so much. Like, is this card really worth a million coins? Or should he be like 750k? I don't know. I know he's got the Barca links. There's a lot of Barca hype right now. But if EA were to drop a striker SBC, because there's not a whole lot of strikers in this team. I mean, there are, but they're all expensive, right? If they were to drop a striker SBC at some point this week, which there is one leaked, you know, this card could tank if the striker is good. Just because, I don't know, like he's just kind of the striker in this team that's like holding it together with the Barca links to the SBCs too. I'm a little bit worried about his price personally. Now, speaking of those leaked cards, we talked about the market enough there. Let's talk about the SBCs that are upcoming because we have one, one and a half leaks. I'm going to say it this way because there was a leak that's really not well known that's being just kind of whispered about. It's kind of just in the rumblings. This one everybody knows about, and I'm going to talk about it first because we have Sorloff that is coming as an SBC during La Liga Tots for his four goals against Real Madrid. I don't know if that's why he's getting a card, but that is why, of course, uh, this tweet, I guess, is made kind of referencing that latest performance that he had. Sorloff is kind of a FIFA legend, right? Especially with the lengthy meta last year, his informs earlier on in the year. It's a name that a lot of people who at least played last year will know. Even this year, he's had some really, really good evolutions. Like I've even come up against some in the cup once and it absolutely destroyed me, right? He's got the headers, the power shot, and he's got Ariel. He's going to be a force to be reckoned with, kind of as like, maybe not quite like Drogba, but that sort of build of a striker. Very tall, very good in the air, very physical player for hold-up play. Not even just for like scoring goals, but for getting the ball up to somebody, passing it down, knocking it down to somebody else, and scoring goals. That's an SBC I think people would be interested in. I don't know how good this card's going to be, but if he was released with those stats... That'd be pretty nice. Like, <laughs> that could be a really, really good card. So we'll see when that SBC is released, if it's today, if it's not. The other leak that I want to talk about is, um, I want to, I just want to shout a name because it's being tossed around a little bit. And I'm not a leaker by any stretch of the imagination. But I just want to throw you guys an idea of a player that if he were to come as a striker, because his name is being thrown around a little bit, he would be crazy hype. And that is this Angel Correa from Atletico Madrid. Argentinian links 4-4 four, four, which if they were going to give him a team of the season item it better be five star four star or five five this is a card that is always very meta very popular people have been evolving versions of him throughout the entire year this version has fair flare plus you know whatever but he's got technical trivella pinged pass and chip shot on this inform version of his card if he gets an evo if this Korea card, or not an Evo, sorry, if he gets an SBC, it could be a really nice card, right? His base card plays striker, right mid, and center forward. He's 4-4, four, four, he's explosive. Like, on his base 82 rated card, he's got 90 agility and 89 balance. This would be a left stick dribbling king if he were to get a team of the season card. So, that's one to throw out there. And when I hear the name Sorloff and Korea as potential SBCs that are upcoming, that is like... Those would be player SBCs that would continue the hype. You've got an Onabate. That's a big name player in Liga F. Really good card in this game. Kunde, already a great SBC. Uh, you could even argue that Stoichkov is a really big name for an icon, right? Always one that people are chasing after. More of the middle to upper tier echelon type of card, especially with this for birthday one. If they drop a Sorloth and or a Correa in the next couple of days, those are also really good SBCs to craft for, to be working towards. They would kind of complete some of these teams we're trying to build with La Liga links with Team of the Season cards that some of us have been packing. So those are two SBCs that I'm genuinely looking forward to. Um, to try out the cards, number one, and to, number two, just to see what kind of EA do with them, right? Those would be great SBCs that would make this promo even 
that much better. So that's a couple of SBC players that could be coming today. I doubt we get both, but probably one of them. And then in objectives today, it's a very interesting thing because we know we're getting a TOTS SBC that's going to be a guaranteed pack today. But if you've been logging into this game every day and doing the one bronze player daily login every single day, today we're getting an 85, 80 times 5 that is, and a La Liga TOTS guaranteed. We noticed this last week on Thursday when the daily logins come on the game, right? For the first time, the new ones come out. That EA is giving us not just a regular TOTS guaranteed pack, a La Liga TOTS guaranteed pack. That's a really good pack. So today... Everybody who's been logging into the game and doing the daily login and keeping up with it gets a La Liga guaranteed TOTS pack today. That's hype. I don't imagine the weight's going to be super and crazy incredible on it, but, you know, having a chance at packing, again, all these cards from a free objective group reward, that is a W. That's one thing to watch out for today. And, of course, it's a Tuesday, right? Tuesdays, Wednesdays, guaranteed TOTS SBCs. Last week, EA changed it up. Remember, we had the weekly TOTS upgrade, which changed in pack type to a 90 plus weekly tots upgrade now ea sports if you're really cool we mentioned this last week as well if you're going really cool with it and kind of following the trend of how content's been this week let's take this to a 91 plus take out even more cards that are lower rated and give us an even better opportunity to pack a better team of the season. We'd have to watch and see if there's going to be pack code updated for that. As far as I've seen, it's still just this 90 plus weekly tots that is there. It was an 84 and an 86 rated squad with a team of the season last time. So it's easy to craft. Again, throw that on the list of SBCs to craft. It is definitely worth doing. Yes, it's a gamble, but guaranteed tots packs always worth the punt, especially with the menu grind that we have on this game. Now, fodder wise, would I invest in that? No, I don't think I would, guys. 85s, if you're already invested in 85s, I think they go up more today because for an 86-rated squad, you put in a team of the season or a team of the week. Those, of course, could rise a little bit, but 85s are already off the ground. 84s are still minimum price. If there's anything that can make 84s rise, it would be this SBC and the guaranteed La Liga Tots SBC coming out tomorrow. But I'm not even certain that they'll rise up much if they do. Maybe it's like 1.5K and they go up like 300 coins. Is it really worth investing, in my opinion? Probably not. So 85s, if you want to be risky with it, they could go up some. Maybe 86s a little bit as well. But really, guys, the number one thing to point out with fodder right now is don't buy 89s for exchanges. Buy 90s. 90s you can get on a bid for 17,000 coins. 90s are still, or 89s are like 20 to 21K, depending on the card. Some of them are up here at Snipes, like 19. But most of them, if you look on the market, people are buying 89s to do the 89 exchanges when it's actually cheaper to buy 90s to do 89 exchanges. So that's one thing I wanted to point out if you're buying those to be crafting because it is cheaper right now to buy a 90 rated card, put it into the 89 exchange. The value that you get back from that is cheaper than the value of the gold cards of the 51 players pack if you just bought the gold rares and non rares on the market. So that's why people are buying cards to do exchanges, which is something we usually don't talk about doing and we're not, you know, super about spending coins too much. Um, to put into like untradeable upgrade pack SBCs. But right now with the grind and the craft, it's okay to spend some coins doing that sort of thing. I think just be careful on the cards you're buying and how, how much coins you're spending too. Like don't go super crazy with it that you go absolutely broke and you have no other coins, right? Even though we're getting towards the end of team of the season, we still have a big summer ahead with the Euros content, with Copa America content as well. So we're going to need coins for that. There's going to be great content, live cards, stuff that updates for how the actual games in those competitions play out. So that's just an early warning to not full send your account too much if you don't want to. Uh, but I wanted to mention that today in regards to fodder. Again, guys, keep tweeting me your pack pulls, bro. Like every time I check Twitter, there's more stuff. Boom, Bon Mati. I heard this way back. Packed Bon Mati tonight. Who's this? Uh, Felix from an 82 plus player pick. Those must have been saved. An 82 plus player pick here, Guiharo as well. So. Like, guys, it's out there, man. And I understand there's still a lot of frustration with this game. I still understand that people are not happy with how things are going. And they're maybe especially not enjoying the gameplay and all of that. Like, guys, this menu grind with the crafting upgrade is absolutely phenomenal. And it's probably one of the best. It is the best grind of TOTS. And it's one of the best grinds we've had so far this year for players. So that's kind of the update I wanted to give you guys there. And that's why I think it's actually worth grinding and logging on and uh, doing a lot of that stuff. And it's really fun too, just rip packs all the time, right? It hasn't been like this all the way through team of the season. Quick little update for me on champs. We are four and O after a hot start of champs finals. 
Shout out to Lewandowski and, of course, the 15 mil Mbappe. But we're going to try to get that 13 if we can and get those games in today. I know I'm cutting it close down to the wire. But, yeah, guys, that's an update for me. Right now, I have to go through, since I opened that store pack, and I have to go through and rinse through a bunch of cards because, you know, I still have a good amount of exchanges here. I still have a bunch of premium. I've got 48 packs. I'm even up higher before, higher than I was before, right? But I got a bunch of cards here to my honest sign from that 650K that we opened. So... We are going to go rinse through these into exchanges or maybe just complete the Onabati SBC. And I will see you guys in the stream today for more crafting fun, tots, packs, and guaranteed SBCs. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in the stream today. Also, check out the second channel where we're kind of explaining that grind. You can watch it actually happen and me go through it as we were doing on stream yesterday. I'll leave a link to that up right here as well. So I'll see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nathan for the Accountant. Appreciate you. Peace out.